goal of synthetic biology is to engineer organisms that produce useful chemicals from inexpensive, renewable starting materials. And when you think about it, this is something that life already does pretty well. Plants, for instance, take the simple starting materials of carbon dioxide and water and use the sun's energy to convert them to the complex molecules comprising the food we eat. One of the best known examples of an application of synthetic biology is microbially produced artemisinin, the most effective treatment against malaria. Currently, the drug is extracted from the sweet wormwood tree and manufactured through a process that is costly and environmentally detrimental. Due to a collaboration between synthetic biologists in industry and academia, we can now use yeast to ferment artemisinin. The process is much like brewing beer, only instead of making alcohol, the yeast produce artemisinin, which dramatically decreases the production time and cost, and increases accessibility to those who need it most. Discoveries like these are what drive researchers to expand our knowledge of biological systems and realize the potential they have to make a better world. Whenever there are great advancements in biotechnology, biosecurity and biosafety issues need to be reassessed. Here at Sinberg, we take these issues very seriously, and our first commitment is to the safety of our researchers, the public, and the environment at large. We are not just scientists, but members of the community, and we consider it our responsibility and privilege to ensure that advances in biotechnology are for the greatest common good. Perhaps most importantly, synthetic biology is a means for understanding the living world. Bioengineers use the principles elucidated by biologists to create new systems, and these systems, in turn, test the limits of biological knowledge. By combining complementary approaches, synthetic biology is redefining biology and helping us gain a deeper understanding of how life works.